Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to make dynamic dependent select box with search functionality in PHP by using jQuery and Ajax. For make dynamic dependent select box with search option, we will use Bootstrap Select plugin for make select box with search feature. In simple select box, we have to select any option then, we have scrolled select box, but if select box with search option, then we can type in search box, for select option from select box, when we have type in search box, then it will filter select box option. So, in this tutorial, we will make dynamic dependent searchable select box in PHP script by using Ajax and Bootstrap select jQuery plugin. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this our testing database and here we have two table like industry and sub industry table. In industry table there is 77 data are already inserted. By using this table, we will fill category select box, so user can search category option, from select category from filter data, and based on category selection, subcategory select box will be filled with data. This is sub-industry table, in this table 4000 plus data are inserted, sub-category select box will be filled with this data, if user select particular category, then sub-category select box will be filled with that sub-category data, which has been connected to that category. This is index page. And here we have already included jQuery, Bootstrap Library and Bootstrap Select Library link. Now we have go to HTML code part, and here we have write select tag, with name is equal to category item, and ID is equal to category item. Here we have write data live search attribute is equal to true. This attribute will enable search feature in select box. Here we have also write title attribute is equal to select category. For make subcategory select box, we have write select tag with name is equal to subcategory item. ID is equal to subcategory item. Same for here also for enable search functionality. Here we have write data live search attribute is equal to true. And here we have write title is equal to select subcategory. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here first we want to initialize bootstrap select plugin on both select box. So, here we have write, dollar with select box id category item with select picker method. It will enable bootstrap select plugin on category select box. Same way for enable on subcategory select box. So here we have write dollar with select box id subcategory item with select picker method. Next we want to fill category select box with data. So here we have write load data function with two argument like type and category id with blank value. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, 
with first option URL set to loaddata.php file, it will send request to this URL. In second option, we have write method, and here we can define which form data send method for send data, so here we have use post method for send data. In third option, we have write data, and here we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have defined type variable and category ID variable value has been sent as data. In fourth option, we have write data tie, and here we have defined JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Below this, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of data dot length, and count variable increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like option tag, with value attribute is equal to data variable with count index dot id and in option text we have write data count index dot name it will display category or subcategory name in select box after this here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write type variable value is equal to category data. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with select box ID category item with HTML method. And under this we have write HTML variable. It will fill category select box with data. After this, we have write dollar with select box ID category item with select picker method, and under this we have write refresh. It will reinitialize this plugin. But suppose above condition falls, then it will execute else block of code. And here we have write dollar with select box ID subcategory item with HTML method. And under this we have write HTML variable. It will fill subcategory select box with data. After this, we have write dollar with select box ID subcategory item with select picker method. And under this we have write refresh. It will reinitialize this plugin. Now we have go to loaddata.php file, and here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to localhost database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank value. It will make database connection. After making database connection, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post type variable. If this variable value is set then, it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, 
we have write dollar post type variable value is equal to category data. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and it will fetch data for category select box. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from industry table. Order by industry name in ascending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Next we want to execute query. So here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will execute above query. For get query execution data, here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution data. For fetch data from dollar data variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar data variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write ID. And in value we have write dollar row industry ID variable. In second key, we have write name, and in value, we have write dollar row industry name variable. So here we have store data in dollar output variable in array format. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block it will fetch data for subcategory select box. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from sub industry table, where industry ID is equal to dollar post category ID variable value, and order by sub industry name in ascending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Next we want to execute query, so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will execute above query. For get query execution data, here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution data. For fetch data from dollar data variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition. We have write dollar data variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write ID, and in value we have write dollar row sub industry ID variable. In second key, we have write name. And in value, we have write dollar row sub industry name variable. So here we have store data in dollar output variable in array format. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar output variable. Now we have go to index page, and here we have called load data function, and in argument, we have write category data, 
So when page has been load, then this function will called, and it will fill category select box with data. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see, when page has been load in browser, then we can see two select box on web page. First select box is for select category, and second select box is for select subcategory. Here we can see category select box has been filled with data, which subcategory has no any data, because this select box will be filled with data, after we have select category select box. So, here we have click on category select box, and here we can see search filter, so in search box we have enter category name, then select box data has been filter and here we have select category name. But after select category name, subcategory has not been filled with data, for this we have to go to index page. And here we have write, dollar document selector, with on method, and under this, we have write change event, with select box id category item, so when we select category select box, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write category id variable is equal to, dollar with select box id category item with value method, it will return id of selected category. Next, we have called load data function, with two argument, in first type argument we have write subcategory data, and in second argument we have write category id variable, this function will fill subcategory select box with data, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. And after refresh of web page, we can see two select box on web page. First we have click on category select box, and here we can see search text box for filter select box data, so we have enter category name, then that category data has been filter, and we have select category from select box. After select category, here we can see subcategory has been filled with data, so here we have click on subcategory, and here also we can see search box in select box. Here we can see only above category, subcategory data, this field data has been depend on the data of above field. When we have changed category from category select box. Then subcategory data has been changed according to the category which we have select. So here we have make dynamic dependent select box with search option. By using bootstrap select plugin with PHP and Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.